How would you describe process language? How, how would you use it? I'm going to, I'm going to uh, dissect that word a little bit in terms of process, not the word in itself. Um, I, I find it even, uh, I'm, going to, I'm going to choose one word yeah. um, where people would use the word, but if they use the word differently, they would get to a, a, another result, perhaps, right. or a better result. I, I, don't, I don't really know. The one word I don't like is when people say, well, it was, you know, you know, it's a process. The people say right. it's, a, it's a process. It's going to take a while. No, nah, no, nah, we don't make decisions over a long time. We know we know pretty quick if we're going to want to do something or not. We might have to gather some information. But so I want to take this one word. Be that I know we use it in business all the time, that kind of thing. Uh, and even even in our personal lives. So the word is, is, is decision. All right. right. And that's from and that's from a verb decide. So, so if I were to say to you, you know, have you made a decision yet? And that's a phrase, by the way, that's made a decision. Yeah. Okay. So there's, there's inside of, inside of that is a process, but it's static. In other words, there's no movement to it. It's already supposedly done. Have you made a decision yet? And the answer is yes or no. You're not going to get a yes or no most of the time. You're going to get, well, you see, blah, blah, blah. you're going to get this, yeah. Which, yeah. Means, which means, no, I haven't made a decision yet. So let's take that word decision, okay? And in our, in my business, what we do, you know, NLP wise anyway, that's a nominalization. That's taking a verb and turning it into a noun, decision. Now, if I were to say to you, you know, are you ready to decide? That opens the door a little bit differently because, because I'm just using the verb in itself without saying, have you made a decision or you're going to make a decision? I could say, are you going to decide? Okay, I can make, use the other words the same. I still just change the verb. To, to, a, to I mean, change the word to a verb from it from nominalization. But the other one that gets it kid kicking in and thinking gets the brain moving because if there's movement, you see, as far as I can tell, if there's movement in the verb for the verb, the pe people will engage it better inside their mind. Right, right. And that means you're not putting, you're not putting any pressure on them just yet about making the decision. But so it's like this, are you still deciding? Now, if I wanted to put that into a, into a, some, some kind of a, you know, as you're thinking about where we're going to be headed in the next, you know, the next six months in this job, are you still deciding about what it is you want to be able to accomplish by the third quarter? Now that's a little bit different. I don't see that. that. Well, it's only a little bit different because of the verb. Now I could say, you know, people say, well, you know, communication here is no good. Well, that's, that's a static word. Communi and it comes from a verb communicate. But if I said something like, you know, how could we be communicating differently in order to get our jobs done more efficiently? That's very different. So by changing the, you know, I, I like to change the words around so that it gets some movement into it, especially if you're, you know, if you're, if you're shooting a command here, do this, yes, no, behavior, boom, do it or don't do it, paint the house, don't paint the house. I don't know. But in, in a lot of times when it's going to be process, the process, use the, use the verb as a, as a processing verb. So make it into an ing, at the, you know, for for the verb processing. Okay, but I, I don't like you know when people even even people. I go to team building things. I don't do team building so much anymore. I just I, I just do totally different than anybody else these days. But it's about engaging in activities. Yeah, not an activity. Okay, people want to go to an activity. I go bring me a problem, they, a real one in your business. Bring me a problem. Okay, and we're going to take a look at that. And we're going to have you go through that as an act, as a set of activities in order to solve this problem. Because people will typically say, did you make a decision yet? And they'll say, well, no, we don't have enough information. Now, in, in terms of receiving that answer, I go into my own brain and think, in order for you to say you don't have enough information, you must know what's missing. Either that or you're making this up because you just haven't made a decision yet, but you're going to say, well, we don't have enough information. And my answer to that is if you know you're missing information, then why don't you just go get what it is? Then we can then we can finish deciding this because because, you know, well, I, I've, I've seen these processes. They go static. They go. They go. It's a, we're, it's in process. We yeah, it's in yeah, process. Yeah, yeah. You know, well, it's a process. Oh, no. everything's a process. But you know what? They, they don't have to be long term things that are going on. Our brains do not work that slowly. Our brains work very fast. You may not like the decision once you make it. You may not like having deciding that thing. You may not like that activity. But the fact of the matter is, it shouldn't take that long. Our brains do not work that slowly.